Yeah, you know, and tracking another system, fortunately, it hasn't developed yet. It's a relatively large system, but it has not actually organized enough to where we could call it a depression or much less a tropical storm. There's also another system to the east of Invest 92L, another tropical wave that recently came off the coast of Africa. This one is not expected to develop at this time. But Invest 92L keeps threatening 90% chance that it develops into a tropical depression or tropical storm as it tracks to the west-northwest towards the Leeward Islands there in the northeast eastern Caribbean. Uh, if this system does become a tropical storm, which it looks like it will, it'll be named Tropical Storm Isaias. This is a tough one to pronounce here. We'll talk more about where these names come from in just a second, but Tropical Storm Isaias, or at least the name Isaias, is the next one on the list. A broad area of circulation there, but it's been hard to figure out exactly where that center of circulation is, though the thunderstorm activity associated with Invest 92L has increased overnight. Now, it, once it moves into the Leeward Islands, it moves into some warmer waters, less dry air, so more conducive conditions for strengthening. It's going to be moving close to, or at least it looks like it's going to be moving close to the east coast of Florida. Certainly something to keep a very close eye on as we head through the next few days. Now, back to the name Isaias. You look at the list of names here for 2020. Certainly not easy names to pronounce, at least some of them, and and. Some of them aren't even American names, right? So where do these names come from in the first place? Well, if you got